Hey traders, in this video you'll learn the simplest day trading strategy for beginners. You literally don't need any experience to be profitable. And it's the strategy I wish I would've known when I first started out. Because it uses concepts that professional traders use, but simplified so much that anyone can do it. And just because a strategy is simple, doesn't mean it's not profitable. As I've also did a backtest of it, and it came out with a staggering 65% win rate. Which is pretty good for just a simple strategy. So let's get started. The strategy is so simple. We only look at one indicator and we don't have to think about anything else. And that indicator is the 50 EMA. The 50 EMA is the 50 day exponential moving average. It is a line on a chart that shows an average price of an asset over the last 50 days, but with more weight given to recent prices. To apply this strategy, all we need to have on the screen is just a price chart and the 50 EMA. To do that, pick the chart you want to analyze and click indicators. Here. We look for EMA. We open it and go to settings and set it to 50. So what we're looking for is a chart where the price is moving below the 50 EMA. Such as in this chart for example. The strategy starts once the price breaks above the 50 EMA and a candle closes above it as you can see in this chart. So the first step of this strategy is complete. A break above the 50 EMA. Then we're going to wait for a pullback. However, we only consider a pullback a real pullback when we have at least two opposite candles coming down. So that's two back-to-back -back red candles after we broke above the EMA. Once we see that happening, we draw a horizontal line at the swing high point before we see that pullback. Then, after we see the two red candles, we're going to wait for the price to break above the horizontal line. But remember, the body of the candle needs to close above the line. And when that happens, such as it does here, that's when we buy. But even when the setup is perfect, a trade is not guaranteed to be successful. And that's why we need to set a stop loss to limit our risk. To do that, we add one more tool to our strategy. So on trading view, go to indicators again and type chandelier stop. And click the one right here by Pip Charlie. Once it is applied, we place the stop loss of our entry at the chandelier stop. In this example, that would be right here. We then set a take profit target at double the stop loss, which is right here. Now, while the setup can look perfect, that doesn't always mean that it's a good trade. I have two main things that invalidate the trade for me. First, when we get a pullback but price breaks below the EMA. So let's say that all the first steps in this strategy go according to plan. We break the EMA after trading below it for a while, we then get a pullback of two consecutive candles, which means we can draw the horizontal line. But then, before we manage to break that line, the pullback was too deep that it broke below the EMA. If this happens, the trade is automatically invalid because it means that our pullback isn't totally clean. The second invalidation for me is if the breakout candle is way bigger than the average candle. So if the breakout is 3 or 4 times as big as the average candle, like in this example, there's a high chance that the breakout is unsustainable and that price may reverse back down. So this is also a type of setup that we should avoid. Now before I tell you more about the strategy, it's time to talk about the sponsor of today's video, and that is SimpleFX. SimpleFX is a free trading platform. They have over 60 different currency pairs, and basically all stocks, crypto, commodities, and indices that you could ever want to trade. From Bitcoin, to the S&P 500, to even Nvidia stock. They also come with a built-in trading view chart, which means you can analyze trades and execute them on the same platform. SimpleFX allows you to deposit more than 70 different payment methods, which means it couldn't be easier to get your money onto the platform and start trading. And to thank my viewers, they want to give you all a $40 deposit bonus if you deposit at least $100. So if you put $100 on the platform, SimpleFX will give you a free $40 extra to trade with. So give it a try because I think you'll love it. Now back to the video. So in the previous example, we started from a chart where the price was trading below the 50 EMA, but the strategy also works for the opposite. If we take a chart that's trading above the 50 EMA, such as this one, wait for it to break out below it, and then begin our strategy by following the exact same steps, which in this case, we wait for the price to break below the 50 EMA. So when we get a dip below it, we're then gonna look for two consecutive green candles, so that we can draw the horizontal line at the swing low. And then, when price reverses and dips below that low, that's where we have a sell opportunity. So it's the exact same pattern, but in the opposite direction. But okay, now that we understand the strategy, let's actually look at some real life examples. 
The first one is this chart, the US dollar against the Canadian dollar. The blue line here is the EMA. As you can see, the price had been trading below the 50 EMA for quite some time until it broke out. This is where I got interested. I then wait for a pullback of at least two consecutive red candles after the breakout, which happened right here. That's where I drew the horizontal line at the highs. It was then time to wait until we broke that line again. When we did, I bought right at the breakout candles close. Then I applied the chandelier stop, set my stop loss and take profits. As you can see, the price hits our take profit target. Here's another example, again on the USD CAD chart. The pair was trading below the 50 MA for quite a while, we waited for a breakout and then the reversal of that breakout. We then drew a horizontal line at the swing high, and once I saw the candle close above the line, it was a confirmed breakout and I entered a long position. Then I applied the chandelier stop indicator and placed our stop loss and take profit target. Again, price hits our take profit region. This one is an example of the exact opposite. In this case, the Aussie dollar pair was trading above the 50 EMA for quite a while, until we broke it with two very long red candles in a row. Then, I waited for a pullback to the upside. When we saw three consecutive green candles, that signaled I could draw the horizontal line at the point of the low. And when we broke it, it was time to short. And again, it worked out. We hit the take profit target on the short entry. Just like knowing when a trade will go well is important, it is also important to be able to recognize when you should cancel a trade, when the setup gets invalidated. That's why I also want to show you this example. As you can see, the setup looked good at first, we were trading below the 50 EMA for a while, we then broke out and price reversed, so I drew a horizontal line at the swing high. But before we ever broke out of that horizontal line, the trade already got invalidated because the price went below the 50 EMA again. And if we were to continue with the trade and bought at the breakout anyways, the trade would have failed and the stop loss would get hit. So if one of the rules that we set for the trade was not met, we should try to get out of the trade because the setup was invalidated. Now, it's important that I show you the backtesting results of the strategy. As you can see here, this is every single setup of our strategy that has occurred on the Aussie Japanese dollar for our chart since 2020 to 2024. And the results? The trade was profitable 65% of cases, and that's a really good average. In that timeline, I used this strategy for a total of 32 times, and 21 out of 32 trades were profitable. So it's proof that your strategy doesn't have to be complicated if you want to make money with trading. You just need to follow a few simple rules and follow them every single time without any exceptions. Literally, just stick to your plan. I like this strategy a lot, and I think it's the most simple, profitable day trading strategy for beginners in 2024. And if you want to try it out for yourself, I have something for you. Before we get to the last part of the video, I just want to take a moment to talk about Simple Effects one more time because I actually think it's the perfect platform to test this strategy with. As a beginner, you don't want to use a complex platform because trading is already hard and you don't want to make it harder because you don't understand the platform. I love Simple Effects because it's so easy to use and that's why it's so perfect for this beginner strategy. And to help you all out, Simple Effects told me that they will give each and every one of you a $40 deposit bonus if you deposit at least $100. So deposit $100 onto the platform to start trading and they will give you an extra $40 completely for free. This makes it even more perfect because now you can actually test the strategy a couple of times before you risk any of your own money. So give them a try because I think you'll love it. So that's it, the strategy I wish I had when I first started out with trading. And once you understand this simple strategy and are making consistent profits with it, you can start looking at other strategies too. That's why I made this video, in which I break down 4 trading strategies that can help any beginner make $500 per day. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.